everybody, got the Keltec PMR30 here today. Haven't got this gun out in a little while, mainly because I kind of got a little bored with it. I had other projects I picked up that were slightly more entertaining, but this still packs a lot of fun at the range. Got a product here today from Tandem Cross. This is their Maverick PMR or CMR30 magazine floor plates. If you're looking at the design, you're probably already thinking what I'm thinking. Magpul Ranger floor plates. They, they kind of look like that. Tandem Cross had sent me a pair of these to test, see if I can abuse them, likes and dislikes about them. They're injection molded and made from Zytel, made in the USA, lifetime guarantee. Definitely two positives there. As far as weight goes, it's skeletonized to keep the weight down. It only weighs four tenths of an ounce, whereas the factory base plate weighs a tenth of an ounce. The positive thing about the increased weight is it does keep the magazines drop free. The main design features of this floor plate basically allow you to more quickly grab and rip the magazine out of the gun. The PMR30 has the heel magazine release or European style so you don't, you don't have a magazine release up here so you gotta come in here with your hand and grab. You can come in here and you know very carefully hit the button and let it drop free but it's easier just to come in there and grab it like that. The backside protrudes a little of the way around the magazine release to help prevent any accidental magazine release. If, as far as insulation goes, this is pretty similar to any box magazine for a pistol. We have our base plate here and there's a retaining protrusion here that holds the plate in place. Take a sharp object like this pick, push down on that, and slide the base pad forward. Don't move your finger or your spring will come out. Take your tandem across Maverick base pad, slide it over, push it all the way back, and there you go. That easy. If you need to take these off because of the uh, loop here, you want like a punch that you can easily stick in there and jam the little retaining pin down and then it'll come off. As far as durability goes, I dropped this a few times fully loaded on a cement pad, didn't break, didn't cause any damage to the magazine, didn't make any of the rounds pop out, did scuff it up a little bit, but I'd say you could abuse these pretty good and not worry about them breaking. As far as price goes, Tandem Cross will send you a pair of their Maverick base pads for 25 bucks. Not too bad a price for an injection molded base plate for magazines. With all that being said, any negatives I can think of? Not really. I mean, it's a base plate, it does its job, it's constructed well, about the only thing you probably could complain about is the magazine, if you set it on the table, doesn't stand up by itself anymore with the base plate installed, but I guess if you're shooting a competition where you're running around jamming your magazine and your gun with it on the table, that may be a concern to you, but it's not to me. I'll put Tandem Cross's link in the description below. As always, thanks again for watching, everybody. Until next time, take it easy, everybody.